technology screens. Uh, today we're going to be testing out something new. Uh, I want to call it Gamer Paint. I don't know what I'm going to call it today, to tell you the truth, honestly. But we're going to get a chance to test it out today. Now, keep in mind, some people are looking at the surface that I'm using right now and thinking, oh, so you have to prime the surface first? No, <laughs> you don't have to prime the surface. Sorry about that. Um, that was done for a previous demonstration on something else. So you don't have to prime the surface. We're just painting over top of this. We just, unfortunately, we just had primer on the screen, which is not needed anytime you paint any of our screens. You don't have to prime the surface. All right, so uh, let's get this started because I still have a lot more work to do today. And as I told you before, anytime we design any form of formulas, they look nothing like each other at all, period. This is a new form of Nova, which I can't wait to get a chance to play with because it was developed about on Sunday. Actually, I think Saturday it was developed. And I couldn't do anything because I don't do that kind of work on Sunday. Try to refrain from doing that. All right. This is all for test purposes. So all everything has to be recorded live. So yes, first thing you want to do is stir it up. And once that's done, pour it on. Make sure, I gotta make sure, because I always go heavy. Every time I do the smaller screens, I always go heavy. I don't know why. And again, as I said before, you don't have to prime the surface. The surface is primed for the previous demonstration on something else completely different. I think we're going to put a screen to the test screen. It doesn't make a difference. Mm -hmm.
Now it's up to you because I got to dry the screen. You can come back in later on. You can watch it later on. It doesn't make a difference. I told you from the door for me. You come in and watch, you come in and watch, you don't, you don't. For me, it's just basically for test purposes. You got plenty of time to watch. You can go do something else, come back in, watch the video when it's done. It's live anyway, it's recorded. So, you know, you. Yeah. So right now, I'm gonna sit down for a little bit. My screen dries. Do something else, and I would suggest you go do something else because as I'm dry, and I'm gonna sit over there and just relax. I'm gonna have a dizzy spells all day. Today. Well, not all day today, because not all day, but I've been having some dizzy spells. And I right now I need to sit down for a minute. I gotta stop pushing it so much. This is why I gotta. Be, and this is why I'm thinking about retiring. Yeah, this is why. Thoughts.
Yeah, my biggest problem, I gotta learn to stay out of freaking VR when I have mind range. That's my biggest problem. I like the VR, I like to go in there, <laughs> I like to explore under the ocean and all that stuff, but when I have like really bad migraines, I gotta stay off that machine, man. It messes me up for the next day. I was really about to pass out. I had to go over there and just relax for a little bit. Oh, it's good because, man, you know, anybody who suffers from migraines, you know, you don't want to get on a system where the room is constantly spinning around all the time. I like the chat rooms. I like to go in there and like talk. You know? So. I just want to go back in there. So that's what I like. So, but, um. I don't know. I think a lot of people, when they first. Which was interesting, you know, VR was pretty much basically for the hardcore gamers. Now they got these Quest 2 units. You got a lot of casual gamers on there and they can't handle the headaches. The headaches are really bad. Ooh, they're bad. But I've been on VR before, so, you know, it doesn't, I'm kind of used to it to a certain degree. People have never had motion sickness on a game. Man. Not a pretty thing to go through. If you're, if you're experiencing it for the first time, not a pretty thing. That's a very interesting color to it. I got view YouTube differently than most people. just advertising it just to be able to show off what the product can do that's pretty much what it is for me So I'm like, chair and relax. I'm just changing the scenery and the environment helps. It's interesting when people say, uh, when I make the comment about retirement, and people think that I'm just going to just uh, walk away and drop it. Well, I showed you the document where Screen Innovation was interested in our technology in 2015. That's 2015. The stuff we have is way, way, way beyond that stuff now. I'm not going to say too much, but... Let's just say I got offers. Where's the band? Should 
we have something coming up called Project Final Black. I can't tell you anything about it at all. I can't discuss it with you. But it's the last. my ratio on? Something ain't right. I'm doing like 4.3. That's that ratio. There's some aspect to ratio on. Oh, we can't get that to be a signal. Alright. Show you that person information. I don't know what it is about this room. For some reason, this room networking doesn't. I don't get it. It's, it's weird. So this could be a gamer paint. I don't know. I haven't decided what we want to do with it yet. And it is going to be. It is going to be part of the Nova collection. That definitely yet. It's um, what I'll do is I can get this done so I can lay down somewhere and. Go to sleep because my head is rocking right now. Coming up nicely, quite nicely. Put you up close so you can see. Uh, I made this clear many times that anytime we develop technology, back. It looks nothing like anything else we've developed. It has its own identity. This has its own set 
very dangerous. You don't do that. If somebody happens to reverse engineer one of your products, they can't match them to the rest of them because they all have different identities. That's how you're supposed to do it. Why all our products have really weird looks to them because they all have their own different way of reacting. here and check out some of the I'll do some other stuff on it. I'm going to leave this up. I'm going to get the game out. Here we're good on the fan. We don't need to run this anymore. I'm going to sit and drive by itself. So. Oh, I finish it by itself. So. Still a little wet, but it can grow on its own. I almost want to hear that fan in my ear. Let's see if we can get it to expand and fill out the whole screen. I got a name for it already. I don't know. I gave me a name for it already in my head. We're going to call it. This one, so I'm going to see how it's going to turn out. Ooh, I got a new one. Look at the contrast levels are absolutely insane. Well, that's good. Seriously? I'm kicking the same wire back over and over again if you slide under my foot. Now I know when painting this screen out, some of y'all think it's dark gray, it's none of those. Not even close. 
It has the most, it has a very, very weird color to it. It's kind of like a brownish kind of color to it. It's weird. Just finished gunmetal technology and I'm on this. Don't have to be in the dark to pull that off either. Put it in environment. I like that. That's a really good one. I wonder what else they have on their channel. Ooh, I haven't seen that one. Oh, that one. Wow, look at the colors. Gorgeous. I hope this isn't all snakes. Yep, it is. I got a thing about snakes. Some people might not like it, but it's my opinion. I don't like them. This is, this is interesting. <coughs> I can't tell you how it was made, but what was dropped in it was completely opposite of anything we use when we basically make this stuff. I mean, it was something that was thrown in there that usually you, I would never put into a product. Good gracious, it came out amazing. So we gotta research that now. We gotta research that element. And this is why I say that at the end of the day, we have companies already lined up willing to buy me out. It takes some years to develop technology. We just got finished doing the gunmetal. Gunmetal was just done what, a couple weeks ago? And now we're on this. I can replace my entire lineup with Nova and just get rid of everything else. Because they're figuring if we're developing technology that fast, they want to buy us out. And that's what they're figuring. Ooh, got to do this one. Bright levels are good. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I haven't been here for a couple years, but I've already explained to y'all already from the door. I can't do this forever. I'm 53 years old. Sooner or later, I got to retire. I got about three years left. 
Well, sooner or later, I gotta retire. And I got offers already. I mean, once I sign that document, that document will state that I can never, ever make this product ever again. I'm good with it. I got three more years left. People say, oh, it's got to be money. you got to be selling for money. No, it's a little deeper than that, people. It's a little deeper than that. Mr. Bird has some health issues. And Mr. Bird may have to retire. It goes a little deeper than that. Yeah, I love it. Ah. <sighs> I haven't seen the whole full video of this one. I usually just, just when they fill the teapot up, and that's basically about it. But I never saw the exact whole full video. I know some of these had full videos to them. Yeah, some of the naysayers must be saying, "Oh, but you gotta retire." If you've seen exactly what they're gonna pay me. Mm. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm good. I'm going to Barbados. I'm still on the beach and just look at the freaking ocean. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. And like I said, take advantage of the technology while it's here because sooner or later someone else is gonna have rights to it. It'll be a while. It'll be three years. By then, who knows what we'll be developing within a three-year time zone. And we're developing this up this fast. Imagine in three years from now what we'll have already. I'm curious to know what we'll have already. Even I don't even know. This was developed uh, Saturday. About 30 minutes Saturday. Downstairs when I was taking apart the screen to do the demonstration for the next day for the custom for the 150 inch. This was made right around the same time. Took less than 30 minutes to make it. Ooh, 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 we got a lot of good stuff on here. Man, I seen half of this stuff. Good gracious. Oh, it's an egg. Okay. Like I said, I like developing technology for my customers. My customers don't want to spend three and four thousand dollars for expensive projection screens and overpriced projectors, and this is where this technology comes in at. Look at that black level. That's what I can't get over. That black level is really crazy. I am really impressed with that. That is beautiful. That is really beautiful. Here's the orders that are going out for the screen. So, like I said, it's not even, uh, it's, it's kind of brown. Yeah, okay. It's actually brown. It looks like it's brown. The 
what I find interesting about God's amazing blessings that looks nothing like any screen paint we developed that is brown, kind of a brownish color to it. That's where that color coding technology comes in at. Screen C color. I like this. So, <laughs> I don't have a couple of names for it, but I <clears throat> don't know what you want to call it. Not sure. I got an idea, but like I said, anytime I got to do the research on the name and what's the meaning behind it, anytime I think of a name, I have to look at the name, I look at the meaning behind it because the meaning can be something really crazy. Like freaking Dorothy Biss. Yeah, there's just some weird stuff behind that freaking name by itself. Gotta be careful. Ooh. Yeah, not a big fan of the snakes. You know, some people say, well, you're afraid of snakes. No, not afraid. I think it's a cursed creature. You crack open the Bible and read it, and you'll see where it says it. It's a cursed creature. It's the only creature under God's creations that was actually cursed. So when you have a snake in your house, you bring a curse into your house. You read the Bible, it says it right in there. In the beginning of Genesis, in the Garden of Eden. If you knew anything, if you read in the Bible, snakes used to walk upright. They never crawled on their belly. They always walk upright. Because of the curse, a snake had basically lay flat on his stomach and eat the primal dust. That was his curse. He lay flat on his belly and eat the primal dust. So that's why I don't like snakes. A friend of mine, she's a snake lover. She's got all kinds of interesting snakes over there, but I'm just shut up and do I say, look, that's my opinion, but you know, still my friend. At the end of the day, still my buddy. Just that's my opinion. And she has her opinion. Yeah. Dark levels are insanely low. It's good. That's really good. You need high whites. You need good contrast, extremely good contrast to make the color levels pop. And it's reacting. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do.
Okay, I'm gonna have to make a gallon of this. I'm gonna have to make a gallon of this. I need this for more testing. Yeah. I need more. I need more. I need more. I don't have enough of them. I'll come back to this. I gotta check out some gaming on this. Because originally it was gonna change this over to we're gonna call it a gamer paint. But now I'm curious to see what would gaming look like on this. It'll be something with a lot of colors. I like this particular game because it has a lot of colors in this game. Give me a chair. I haven't played this game in a while.
Ooh, cover's in there. White lovers are good. I think I had to do the special. Why did you put that in the special? I think it's both of these at the same time. There we go, that's the special. That's the special, okay. Good to know. Are you kidding me? You never know that nonsense?
That's not good. Oh, please let me block this mess. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow! He ate through all that. That's messed up. Damn, make a difference. Wow. I was like, I hope I'm blocking this. Oh, game is absolutely freaking amazing on this. Oh, man. Now I gotta figure out whether I'm gonna change my screen upstairs. I have to do a side by side. Let's do it. Which one I want. Oh, no, no, no. I just do me a wallpaper. I just do me a wallpaper screen. Nope, 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 nope. I'll just get me another 100 inch fixed frame and coat it with this because I'm not doing that 135 again. That's too big of a screen to pull up a wall again. <coughs> Leave that magenta. Give me another screen. And coat it with this for this one because I gotta have this upstairs. Bulldozer. I take bulldozer. And then bulldozer in a while. Select Anyone in my work. color is freaking gorgeous y'all can't see it on this yeah i mean y'all can see from the live but in real life this looks really freaking good now if i can just get my hands on a ps5 that'd be nice but i can't i got money already i got ben had money saved for the ps5 ben had money saved for it just can't get one can't get one Check Best Buy, all sold out. Try to even get X Series, all sold out. GameStop, sold out. And I'm not going to a scalper. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I spent a freaking twelve hundred dollars for a unit. I'm just going to have to wait. That's all. Yeah, but I got my. I already set my. Usually, when new console systems come up, I start saving a year in advance, so I can get all the games I want, all the accessories, everything needed. Unfortunately, this is the first time in history, of my game in history, that I have not been able to get my hands on a console, literally. Just can't get your hands on it.
And so why don't uh, Sony Corporation do something about it? They're not going to do anything about it. They're getting paid. <coughs> they're getting their money regardless. Whether it's the scalper or whether it's a customer, they're getting their money. They don't care. You just can't sit up there and complain about why your subscriptions are so low because no one can get their hands on one. Yeah. Like I said, I checked last night. Went right on Best Buy. I figured I'd have a better chance with Best Buy. Walmart, forget it. And if you're able to get one, even if you're able, if they haven't stopped, I bet you a million dollars that whoever's working at that department store, sure enough, is going to have at least two already saved aside. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Because either they're going to sell one or they're going to hook up somebody with one. But I guarantee you, anyone that's ever worked inventory or stock before knows that already. Any hot commodity that comes in, you got access to it first. You know, it's it's you're not going to be able to get your hands on it. I've just never seen this happen in gaming before. Like never, ever, I've seen this happen in gaming. And they can pretty much tell that where their sales are coming from. Their sales are coming from their, their older units. That's why the older units are still running. That's why a lot of the servers are still filled on the older units. I think what I find more hilarious is the fact they're talking about bringing out the VR system for the PS5. How can you bring a VR system out if you don't have the console to run it off? How does that even work? I mean, it's not going to run independently by itself, of course. You're going to have to run it through a console system. If you can get the console system, what's the point of buying the VRs? For advertising or even applying for a patent. But I'm good. I'm happy with my PS4. I'm in a rush. It's just a shocking that already we're in May and you can't get your hands on a system. That's what's kind of shocking. Where the freak did they spawn me out at? Really? Where am I? At? They spawned me backwards. That's just nice. Because I would love to be able to test my products here on a PS5 or an upgrade system. Like I said, not gonna happen. Not oh, really. Now, hell, he's an enforcer. That's why I got taken out so fast. How come I don't get any enforcer trucks? Oh, why? I'm just going to bring down my gaming PC and run my gaming PC through here. I'll do that later on today. Swap it out for my gaming PC. Apparently I'm having a bad day. But we can all see how that looks. Everything else in here. Actually, I'm kind of interested in trying. Trying to have some really pretty colors in it. I hope I got the right one. I got two of these on here. Nope, I got the wrong one. You know, I can bail out of that. Where's the other one at? Complete story. Trying, trying, is trying. It has some amazing colors.
Now, if we could pass it a little closer to the screen. But there we go. You guys are good. I told you this area gets kind of weird. My system reconnects and disconnects and whatever. That's what I wanted that contrast level. Look at the contrast level. Look how the colors light up. That is beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Wait, we added something different to this just this product right here this formula is something different to enhance the color that's why i was going to call it gamer paint at first don't put you closer to the screen there we go Using my component pad. Oh, there we go. I'm not good at this game. I got the game because I like the colors on it. I really like the colors. The colors are pretty cool in this game. Yeah, box. Okay, that's interesting. How to destroy a box. Yeah, as you can see, apparently, I, I suck at this really bad. Oh, it's never good. Well, that's not going to do anything because it's not big enough. Well, maybe it might work. I don't know. Oh, it did work. I like him better than the wizard. He's just hacking slash all through. Oh, double with the sword. And that's the hammer. Oh. 
How are we getting up there? Oh, 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 my bad. Was there some kind of cord I was supposed to push? Nope. Still missed it, but that bite. Alright, push it over here. card anymore. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, that's good. Just we'll do the same thing just a few minutes ago. There we go. Like that game right here is wicked. Game right here is really good. Greens, man, the enhancement colors on here are really good. That is really good for an outdated projector to look, make that screen look like that. Well, like I said, I use all outdated projectors anyway in my demonstrations. So. 
smell this let the screen do all the work Yeah, I'm going to have to buy me a projection screen just for this paint. I'm going to have to buy me another screen. <laughs> Let me know the picture, right? Okay, I'm going to have to buy another fixed frame screen. I'm probably going to get an elite turret. Probably not. I'm going to get a cheap generic screen. That's what I'm going to get. Why well, spend the money? And I can hang this upstairs in the tech room over the wallpaper screen. I don't need to, I don't use the wallpaper that much. Good, perfect. You have to do these in every test. Some people don't like it, you have to do it. If you don't like to do it, then you shouldn't be making a product. That's all to it. Yeah, that's good. Let's see how the black levels are going to react. Dress. They're coming up perfect. Oh, this is a good one. See how the light moves around? So you have the contrast levels and white levels to trigger off at the same time. And doing it in a fully environment. I saw some do contrast demonstrations, they have to be done with the lights on. It's a whole new formula right here. We do this every time we make a formula. You're gonna see the same thing. Get some stove back at a thousand lumens, low lumen on demonstrations at 14 to 15 take them outside you know how we do demonstrations how we do our tests not going to just sit this around and disconnect my wi-fi but yeah you got to run a whole lot of tests this isn't this is nothing this is just seeing how the product reacts so let's go through a ton of testing right, screen paints so i have to earn their labels i got to earn new labels right now I have no information on how it's going to work on an ultra short throw I have no information on how it's going to work with a low lumen projector how am I going to put specification information in on the website if I don't know exactly if I don't do the test to figure out exactly how low the lumens are going to drop for the screen or how it's going to be to produce or pick up an image how much ambient light can the screen take in and on top of that like I said it has to be tested against certified screens that's an automatic has to be done Speaking of that, let's do our traditional three.
right? So these are the three screens we test them from right from the door. Any screen I develop and make has to go against the certified right from the door. Uh, first one, $5,000 screen. Parallax, I think I'm going to say correctly, 0.8. And if people feel that this is not necessary, then you should not be making a product. If you feel that these tests are not important, then you shouldn't be buying it. Matter of fact, you shouldn't even own a projector if that's the case. Seven grade 3D. Star, star 9. This is why my product has the interest of companies because we can show that our technology can outperform their screens. Even when a screen was developed in under 20 minutes. Let's begin. We've got the right remote controls on us. I'm the master. Oh, we're not on remote controls. We're on a gaming system. That's why. I'm what the freak am I doing here? get bothered by this. Tell me, why do you have to do those tests? Because they have to be done. Would you buy brakes if they only been tested one time? I don't think you would. All right then. They have to be tested. <coughs> see the screen pulls the higher, the white level. That's what we need to see because the white level tells the story of what we're dealing with. Okie dokie, let's begin. Yep, already from the door. voice so I can't even see me. Right already, right? Okay, six, seven, yep. So here we are, got a screen paint that was made in around 20 minutes, We're testing the day on Monday, Now already it's outperformed three certified screens, $5,000 screen by daylight screen, probably thirteen dollars to $1,400 by lead screen, and a $3,000 dark star nine by lead screen. The screen is actually showing better color and better contrast levels.
open the door, how it's going to react uh, to the uh, other screens we're going to have to test it against. That's going to be a bit of a cakewalk. We'll be walking through that with no problem whatsoever. With no problem. So like I said, fully lit environment, it did extremely well, extremely well. It already beat three certifies right from the door. So it's gonna pass all its tests, with no problem. By next week, it'll have this label. Okay, well, I had a chance to see what the new technology looks like. <coughs> Pretty interesting. So now what we gotta do now is just run through its tests, which will probably be somewhere around this week. And then after that, um, it's label and it pops on the website. <coughs> That's it. Boy, I'm still going I'm really gonna miss making this stuff, boy. I'm telling you. I'm really gonna miss making it. Every time a company comes, keep in mind. I mean, when their videos go out, we got companies that are watching us constantly all the time. I know they watch us all the time. Always watching us to see what we're making, what we're designing, how fast we're putting it together, how we're testing against their products. You're watching us. We know it. That's why I've been getting some interesting. They heard me on the chatter a few times about retirement. And I've been getting some offers. I can develop tech. Well, God develops the tech. It takes us no time at all. And it takes y'all years to develop. Y'all start years to develop those screens. And in under 20 minutes, we can pretty much. God bless us with the technology to be able to design amazing screens. Sad part about it is the fact that once I'm out of the picture, pretty much only two people we're gonna have to deal with unless somebody else comes up. And, but then again, the people are gonna have this stuff. I have no intention of, <coughs> I'm just gonna taste from the door. This will probably, like I said, it's probably about two or three years down the line. But the ones that will be actually, I'm considering uh, um, giving them the rights to it 
you're never going to see it in a screen paint form. Never. It'll never be sold that way. They got other plans for it. So um, they're going to be using it for something else, for corporation applications and stuff like that. So you'll never see it in a screen paint form. So unless somebody comes up and they're willing to put the time in and the hard work and spend the 10, 12 years doing it, give you the right product, then you're just going to have to deal with the other guy or you're going to have to deal with these guys that want to sell you these products that cost you four and five thousand dollars for a screen. That's what you're gonna have to deal with. Now under that agreement, once I sign it, um I can't sell it anymore. Period. Not anymore. I can sell it anymore. And I'm good, trust me, I'm good. It's like, well you just you just no, I'm good, trust me when I tell you I'm good. I'm retired, done, which means I get up in the morning, I go outside, and I just sit there and stare at a tree if I want to, and I still got paper. So I'm good. That's the whole <laughs> purpose. <laughs> like I said, and what I'm going through right now, people hear me coughing on camera, what I'm going through right now, I told people a long time ago that I got sick in a house, <clears throat> and it's um, it's been making my life miserable, so... Yeah, dealing with that nonsense and everything else, then COVID kicking in, and then right around the time I got lung damage from mold poisoning, it is not a pretty ride. It's not been a pretty ride. Most of the time I get on camera and I'm working, I'm sick. A lot of people don't realize that I'm really, really sick. But I love my job. And I love what I do for a living. And eventually I just can't do it forever. Everything comes to an end. taking his toll. So I try to get on here and do what I can for my customers and try to get in the best product I possibly can. But like I said, sooner or later, I'm going to have to basically lead the whole entire game because like I said, I got I to gotta think about other things besides this right here. But like I said, I love my customers. I love the support. You know what I mean? And that's why I keep designing such amazing stuff for everybody. But like I said, I can't do it forever. And hopefully somebody comes along and they have the passion for it, and they want to basically do things on the level that we do things on and to continue. But like I said, the companies that are involved in basically purchasing our technology have no intention of ever bringing it to light for you to buy, ever. And they have other plans for it. So, you know, we're just basically giving them the rights to all the formulas, um, patents, um, copyrights, everything. And pretty much they can make and design whatever they want to do with it. But until then, <coughs> I'm still here. Um, I have told them I have no interest for at least about a couple more years. But I got some things I want to do. I told you that I want a screen with my name on it. At least one screen. At least if I can get one of them with my company's name, it would be really nice. So I got a few goals <coughs> I want to be able to uh, achieve first. We're going down that road. All right, people. I gotta sit down and I gotta relax because right now I'm not feeling too good. But I gotta sit down and relax, and um, we'll be back on probably uh, probably tomorrow because I'm, I'm gonna get some rest tomorrow, and we'll finish this right here, get this all set up for everybody, and then we'll get you on the website, get it on the website, because right now I am about to pass out. All right, gotta go. Thank you all, and God bless.